Well, it's been a long time since uh, damp indoor, indoor spaces have been shown to contribute to, uh, <coughs> to a sick building syndrome. And one of the ways that it happens is that the humidity uh, is capable of supporting mold growth, particularly in carpets and in some cases on uh, other surfaces. Um, uh, it produces the spores that you breathe. If you can hold the humidity near or below 50% at 70 degrees, you'll significantly retard the growth of, of uh, mold spores, for instance. The second way that it affects is um, humidity draws um, uh, pests, insects in particular. Uh, dust mites uh, get their uh, moisture through their exoskeleton. If you hold it below 50% or near below 50%, there's not enough moisture in the air for them to survive. Um, excess moisture uh, draws um, other insects, pests, as well as rodents and that type of thing. So any leaks that you might have that could contribute to um, to uh, elevated humidity should be repaired immediately and cleaned up. Uh, and so it really contributes as part of the system that contributes to all of these allergens.